I spent years of my life struggling with the pressures of society, stressed about making the bills, trying my damnedest to become what I considered to be a person of high regard. Then I heard about Wu Wei. Wu Wei is the philosophy of effortless action, of doing things without struggle and without desire. Wu Wei is a cornerstone of Taoist philosophy. It's a concept that is mentioned many times in Taoist literature, including in Lao Tzu's Tao Te Ching. Sinologist Hurley Creel defines Wu Wei as an attitude of genuine non-action, motivated by a lack of desire to participate in human affairs, and a technique by which the one who practices it may gain enhanced control of human affairs. It's about allowing energy to flow through you freely, acting without effort. And if that sounds contradictory, allow me to share something Rumi once said. The breath of the flute player, does it belong to the flute? There is no direct translation of Wu Wei from Chinese to English, but it has been called non-action, non-doing, non-forcing, and effortless action. In the Chinese text, the Zhangzui, it is described as acting without desire. You might note how Wu Wei seems similar to mindfulness. Both are about being non-judgmentally aware and focusing on our actions rather than on results. You can probably already sense why Wu Wei is so very beneficial. It allows us to live life in the moment achieving the things that we need to achieve, but without the struggle. No surprise then that research shows that Wu Wei can reduce stress and anxiety. Both research and wisdom suggest that Wu Wei makes us more productive. In philosopher Chuang Su's poem, The Need to Win, there is the story of an archer who becomes more and more focused on rewards, and as he becomes more reward-oriented, his archery gets worse and worse. Research shows that Wu Wei can improve our performance in sports and other endeavors. This will come as no surprise to fans of sports psychology, because Wu Wei is similar to the state of flow described by Mihai Chichet Mihai in Flow, the Psychology of Optimal Experience. And a wealth of research has shown that flow improves performance. Finally, there is even philosophical debate into the value of Wu Wei in governance. Indeed, in the spring and autumn period of Chinese history, Confucius made Wu Wei an important part of governance, stating that he who leads with effortless action leads for the good of all, not just for themselves, and also describing Wu Wei as the highest of virtues. To get into the Wu Wei mindset, try the following. Let go of ideas of reward and punishment, and instead, focus on your actions in the here and now. Do what Bruce Lee said and be like water. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Allow your actions to happen freely. Taoists refer to this as Ziran, of which D.T. Suzuki said, Living is an act of creativity demonstrating itself. Creativity is objectively seen as necessity, but from the inner point of view of emptiness, it is just so-ness, it is Ziran. It literally means by itself so-ness. And that 
is my little introduction to Wu Wei. And so, Wu Wei is effortless living, living without striving, living without desire, living in the moment. What do you think of this philosophy of Wu Wei? Let me know, leave a comment, and remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.